Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to my playthrough of Final Fantasy IX. This is your host, Coach Rude, with Rude Gaming 33, and this is going to be part 28 of this playthrough. In the previous episode, we had escaped Alexandria, intending to go to Trino, but facing a serpent, the Gargan had gotten spooked, and it crashed us into Pinnacle Rocks. And now we got a trial to do by the Eidolon Ramu. So we gotta find five infest manifestations of him. But first, let's pick up the mithril vest right here. And there's gonna be a manifestation right on the other side of this boss. Sorry, not boss battle, regular battle. Oh shit, I got her up the front line. I thought she was uh, the way the positioning looked like she was in the back uh, front line to begin with. So we got some equipment changes we need to do right away because after we fought that serpent, got a decent amount of AP. The fact that they don't, that, ah, start that over. The fact that they didn't report Joseph's death to his daughter was indicative of their guilt for failing to protect him. In the end, heroes are also human. That's human. We have four more left to pick up. Fight one of these bastards again. Zagnols.
although Joseph's death was not reported to his daughter, the manner of his death speaks for itself. This is the true story. This is the story of a true hero. That's hero. You have three more to go. Once upon a time, 33 small countries fought together against an empire. One day, a rebel troop visited a man named Joseph who lived with his daughter. Owing a debt to the troop, he gladly accepted their plea for help. They headed for a cavern in the snow field. That's beginning. You have two more to go. So continue moving uh, to the left. Head on down. With Joseph's help, the troop defeated the Animantois in the Snowfield Cavern and acquired the Goddess Bell. They needed to enter the Empire's Castle. That's cooperation. And we're going to pick up the Ogre. On their way home, Joseph fell into a trap set by a traitor. Joseph gave his life to save the troop. The troop left without telling Joseph's daughter, Nellie, about the tragedy. That silence. So, we can end this. But there's a few other items we gotta pick up. Got her to learn Auto Potion, which is good. Allows us to pick up the mithril armlet, and uh, there is a elixir and a few, another item to be found later on. Sorry, an elixir in Phoenix Town, so that we obtain those items once we leave Pinnacle Rocks on our way back to Lindblom.
So now this is where we tell the story. So you go with beginning, then cooperation, then you put silence. Now, the last one, it doesn't, it, both are correct answers, but there is a slight difference between the storylines and the end, but we can either go with Human, which says the fact that they didn't report Joseph's death to his daughter was indicative of their guilt for failing to protect him. In the end, heroes are also human. And the other one is, although Joseph's death was not reported to his daughter, the manner of his death speaks for itself. This is the story of a true hero. So we want to go with all human. Heroes are also human. So we get the Peridot. So let's choose jump off now.
that was the Eidolon Atomos. First, we're going to go back to Pinnacle Rocks. I'm just going to let Zidane take care of these two. Pick up an elixir and let's pick up a phoenix down. So let's reread that sign one more time. There are reports of an old man's ghost appearing here at Pinnacle Rocks. We were unable to verify the rumor, but we recommend staying away from this area. Limblum Area 2 Security Corps. Go back into Lindblom. Head inside the inn and head upstairs and talk to Mudan and give Mudan the letter. I rode an airship called the Red Rose, but I saw something horrible. Kupo, the Eidolon Odin's power is terrifying. It destroyed Clara completely. There's not even a trace of the city now. So since we're here at the Moogle for a save point, this will conclude part 28 of my Final Fantasy IX playthrough. This is your host, Coach Rude with Rude Gaming 33, and I will see you guys next time on part 29. See you guys then.